Do you ever get bored with Rainbow Loom? Well, I'm here to help. Kitty Cat. Hey guys, it's Kitty Cat Loom and today I'm going to be teaching you guys some awesome things to do when you're doing Rainbow Loom and you get a little bored. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. But before that, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to become a part of the hashtag Luma Squad. And also stay tuned for the shoutouts. All you have to do for the shoutouts, by the way, is just comment down below hashtag Luma Squad and you can maybe get a shoutout in the next video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Alrighty, so the first thing to do is to go back to the basics. And as you guys know, the first thing that Rainbow Loom ever got known for was, of course, bracelets so of course I have a whole bunch of bracelets on my wrist right now and there's literally so many designs out there on YouTube like there's literally like so many um, but literally um, you guys can just make any sort of bracelet it could be something really super super easy like the fish towel or it can be something a little bit harder you never really know so challenge yourself or just go back to the really little basics because making a chain or making a fish towel is actually like super fun I did it just like the other day and I just love mixing up the colors and just kind of going back to when I was a little beginner um, so yeah make sure you guys go back to the basics and try to learn something like a bracelet and number two um, the second kitty stop Number two, this one is something that I kind of didn't realize before when I was starting to loom. So you guys maybe just only loom on this one. Um, this obviously amazing, beautiful, um, original rainbow loom. But of course, why not switch it up a bit and go for the monster tail instead? Because this is such an amazing, amazing loom. Um, you can do a lot more um, sort of bracelets and it's a lot more flexible in terms of... Um, <clears throat> making other designs so why not just give something a go you know maybe if you guys want alrighty so at number three we have such a big one I know you guys have dreaded this ever since you started looming but I really encourage you guys to um, reorganize your collection box so if you don't have too many collections that literally does not matter because you can literally have as many creations as you want but you just really need to organize them and it's just super fun super relaxing and it's just really 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 cool to see all your creations in one box all organized and all beautiful so you can maybe organize it between like categories like happy foods and bracelets or you can always organize it in like color coding which would look so cool as like an Instagram picture literally any way you want um just go organize your collection box so in terms of uh, switching it up a bit um I really encourage you guys to try a new looming style so if you haven't, make sure you guys go try Lumigurumi. If you guys haven't made a Lumigurumi, it's literally so fun. You guys definitely should try it. So of course, if you're bored of doing happy foods or just bracelets all the time, it's such an amazing experience and it really builds your skills. That includes like crocheting, knitting and stuff like that. So make sure you guys go switch it up and literally just try some Lumigurumi designs if you haven't. But yeah. So this is number four. Alrighty guys, so at number five, this is such a big one. Just wait for the pun. Um, if you are bored, may as well literally just make a huge design because if you're kind of having a bored time and you're making stuff you don't want to make, may as well make something huge and super cool to look back upon. So if you guys want, make sure you guys go make big designs because big projects are just Super fun to make because you get to see the progress of you making them. Sorry, my kitty just sneezed. <laughs> but something like this Happy Dango, it takes a little while to make, but it's such a big reward whenever you finish something as big as the Dango. Yeah, just make something big and just step out of your comfort zone and try something new. So, yeah. Go make these Dangos. Link in the bio. <laughs> a 
Okay, so the next one is something you probably haven't thought about, but if you're a massive Lumigurumi Luma, you guys are gonna love this. So of course, if you make Lumigurumi like this adorable Lumigurumi Pokeball here, um, you guys are gonna love crocheting. So crocheting is basically the exact same. So um, it's a super, super cool way to start making other things apart from Rain Balloon. But um, make sure you don't just do crocheting because Rain Balloon is amazing too. But yeah, this is a super great way to just kind of mix up the feel and just try something new as well. Yeah, that's this number. And last but certainly not least, a thing to do when you're bored during Rain Balloon is literally just to make your own creations. So if you are a beginner out there that literally does not matter at all, you guys can make your own bracelets, your own happy foods, try your own Lumigurumi designs, literally anything. You guys can do it if you set your mind to it. And it really does build your own um, understanding of Rain Balloon and your own skills as well. It literally helped me so much um, making the Happy Dango and the Happy Noodle and all my sort of creations and tutorials because they're your own original designs, especially during quarantine, to just make your own Rain Balloon designs. So, yeah. Alrighty, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and loved it as well. If you guys did, please subscribe again to my channel. It will mean the world. Also, comment down below, hashtag Luma Squad, if you guys want to have a shout out in my next video. So, yeah, I love you guys with all my heart and and I hope you guys are not bored at doing Rain Balloon anymore. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!